Hello everybody! So, welcome from London. This is my fifth day in London and uh, yeah, it's been a fascinating and a lovely uh, five days. Especially today, as you can see from the, my window, it's really bright outside. Uh, the high, this today has the highest recorded temperature in the, in, the, in the last five days I've been here. So today it was uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I know it's not as hot as you, we expect in California. It could be as high as 80 or even 90s okay, in the middle of the afternoon and uh, late afternoon as well. But today uh, it's 75 here. It's a, it's a celebration. So the weather here in uh, in London or in in or uh, United Kingdom overall uh, sucks, and uh, the the country is so beautiful. England is uh, lovely. London is very quintessential. But the weather, if you are used to uh, flat, warm weather, and you know what clothes you're gonna wear for today, this is not uh, it's not something that you have to make a huge adjustment. So you have to carry uh, you have you have to wear layers in here. So because of microclimate, so you'll see the cloud formation in one area. The same street on the other end of the street, you will see uh, okay uh, the blue sky. But overall, it's summer. It's uh, it's it's a celebration. All right, today, uh, as I said, this is my fifth day in London, and uh, I, I took it low-key today. I, I left my room, my, my hotel, at around uh, 11 o'clock in, in the morning, and I did a... Uh, and, I, I, and I tried to take it slow today. So there are days when I travel that, hmm, I need to take it slow and uh, take the breath, okay. So today I went to Portobello Market. It's a uh, it's it's a long uh, long street, uh, just like a strip in Vegas. So with a uh, many with a plethora of stores and stalls and restaurants, or in you can see uh, local markets, uh, local goods, and then this is uh, this is the best place to see uh, the culture as well as uh, the local people. So selling their goods, and then of course you will see both local and international uh, tourists okay, looking and purchasing uh, items, and it's bargain. There are the, there are the it's inexpensive, you know things or items like for instance uh, stickers, for instance, uh, 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 and, and and small items or even or even uh, food. The food are very inexpensive. There are, there are many there are many variety. There there's several variety of food. Available in uh, in the Port of Market is along the Harvey Street, and uh, excuse me for my eyes, and uh, and uh, I'm happy there were several vegetarian uh, cuisine, and you can see in uh, the, uh, there is a wide array of international uh, delicacy from uh, there is there, of course so this is I think this is the most multicultural uh, city that I've been to as compared to uh, let us say San Francisco. Here you will see uh, restaurants from Beirut, Beirut restaurant, I've never seen a Beirut restaurant, Lebanese restaurant, Sri Lankan restaurant, Indian restaurant, restaurant, Chinese restaurant of course, Chinese is everywhere, and including so many, it's, it's a lot, I in a lot, it's a lot of choices. And then uh, after the Portobello uh, market, I went to, uh, I, 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 I went to see the Okay, one of the palaces nearby, and that is I guess Kensington Palace. It was a grandeur palace. It was uh, the former uh, residence of the royal family back in the 17, uh, 1700, and now it's a current uh, private residence of the Dutch and Duchess of Cambridge. It's a beautiful palace located inside a very enormous uh, royal garden, the Kensington Garden. So Paddington is a uh, is located uh, in 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 in, La, uh, in England of course and to be exact I mean the city of Westminster and it's a beautiful place where it's very accessible to everything including uh, the train station the Paddington does uh, they have all, uh, the Paddington train station and there are two enormous Royal Garden that is very uh, nearby it's walkable I walk here every single day I skip the buses and I hate the buses you know uh, especially the hop on half hop on half off bus tour I hate that I don't um, I stop I stop uh, okay um, getting into the bus case a couple of years ago when I first went to Europe because it eats my time I mean I'm I'm under the mercy of the of the driver and the traffic you know sometimes and then uh, and then you're locked in 
Okay, so with the itinerary, what what uh, what I or what I did, which I have been doing, is that I will just get a map of the hub on hub of bus and look at the uh, and look and look for the the attractions, and uh, and I'm and I and the only thing that I need to have is my mobile phone as well as my Wi-Fi connectivity. I, I always say my I always have a Wi-Fi connectivity because I have a global internet so that they carry me all the time I travel as long as there is a hot spot. So of course the United Kingdom has uh, there's hot spots everywhere. So I I don't uh, I don't basically miss a huge turn. Once in a while the Google map will give me kinda uh, an odd direction but it will pick up anyway so especially starting starting the Google map to, to, to begin your journey but you know so I, I, I never I never got lost okay for for, for, for a very long time since I've, I've been using this uh, Google, uh, Google map the walking okay second part of the Google map all right so and then uh, I went I, I went back to the to the grocery shop the Tesco and I, I went uh, uh, I purchased some uh, basic stuff. And then uh, I, I I found out I've been fi I've been finding out that uh, United Kingdom they say oh it's a very expensive country yeah it is expensive but I, but if I go and, and I, I just went to the grocery and then I've been going to the, to, to, uh, to this uh, grocery shop and it's quite it's very inexpensive smart fact as I mentioned in my other video so a loaf of bread high quality one it costs a pound a pound is uh, equ equal to seventy U uh, cents uh, seventy. Uh, cents over US dollar so of course the, the US dollar is a uh, okay has a lower value than the pound but a bread but a bread swaps so my my camera is showing a uh, no battery more but the bread here is a pound it's a of bread it's a high quality one and compared to the speaking this bread will cost be about uh, $45 at say more in California okay so my battery is uh, is is is, uh, is is blinking and anyway so I want to end this uh, uh, this video tomorrow I'm heading to Bath I will be boarding on a train uh, about an hour and a half train journey from Paddington to Bath which is known for the Roman bath and that is also in England and I'll be there for three days and then from Bath I'm going to Cornwall and then to Wales, Cardiff and then to Edinburgh which is in Scotland and then to Northern Ireland and then back to London and then uh, to Kenya and Qatar so I still have many many days to explore here in the United Kingdom I'm here for 28 days alright this is only my fifth day alright bye for now see you then cheers